Yo, what is up everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. So it is officially 2020 by the time you're watching this and I hope you all close 2019 out in a really positive way. With 2020 starting, yes, it's a new year, but it's also a new decade. Think back to where you were uh, at the beginning of the last decade in 2010. What were you doing? I was a 13 year old kid whose biggest worries were running the mile in gym class and whether or not the girl I liked likes me back. So much has happened in the last 10 years, good and bad. Take a second to really appreciate how much you've grown over the last decade and everything you've accomplished. Just understand that over this next decade, you're going to continue to grow and accomplish a lot of things. You will not be the same person and that's okay. By the time 2030 rolls around, some of us are going to graduate college, whether that's undergrad or graduate school. Some are going to travel the world and see some amazing things. And a lot of us are going to fall in love. Unfortunately, some of us are going to fall out of it. Some are going to be having kids and starting a family. This next decade is going to be filled with huge moments for each and every one of us. I want to share with you all a concept that I read recently that I think everyone should enter 2020 knowing. So I'm currently reading a book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F by Mark Manson, which talks about something called the responsibility slash fault fallacy. Now, what this fallacy is, is that a lot of people don't take responsibility for their problems because they believe taking responsibility means they're also claiming fault. Oftentimes blaming others instead of taking responsibility for themselves. And the difference between fault and responsibility can be summed up in a couple examples. Uh, for example, if I hit you with my car, I'm legally at fault. It's up to me whether or not I decide to take responsibility for my actions. This is how our society is constructed. However, there's also situations where you are not at fault, but still held responsible. If you wake up one day and there's a random newborn baby outside your doorstep, it is not your fault that the baby's there. However, it is your responsibility for what happens next. Whether you decide to keep it, ignore it, or hand the baby over to the police, there are consequences with what you have decided to do that ultimately you are responsible for. We are responsible for things we aren't at fault for all the time. That's the way life works. It may not be your fault that your ex broke your heart or cheated on you, but it damn sure is your responsibility to decide what you do next. You can mope around and blame others for you being unhappy and sad, but ultimately it's your responsibility to pick yourself up from it. It isn't your fault that you were born into a low income family, but it's your responsibility to make the most out of your situation and live a life that you can be proud of. Oftentimes there are always people that you can blame for your situations, but no one is ever responsible for your life other than yourself. Fault is past tense where responsibility is present tense. You always get to decide what you do next. You get to decide how you see things, how you react. The choice is yours. I'm going into 2020 with the mindset of challenging myself to step out of my comfort zone even more by doing things that terrify me. Most of you don't know this, but I am terrified of heights, like deathly afraid, but that didn't stop me from doing this. One of my favorite sayings goes like this. Being brave doesn't mean you're not afraid. Being brave means you don't let fear stop you. I also want to challenge myself to build new habits like reading at least once a day, working out more often, and being more outgoing to meet more people. Because I truly believe that everyone has a story to share, and I kind of want to incorporate those stories into my own. So I challenge you, the person watching this, to do something for yourself in 2020 that terrifies you, but you know, it's something you've always wanted to do. Feel free to share in the comments below what that is if you want. And if you've never gone skydiving before, comment down below if you would ever consider it. Maybe I'll join you for it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.